Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, mister. How's everything? I'm fine. No, I mean, that's, that's cool. Really nice. You see, okay. There are very few people getting connected. Okay, I guess they are just going to get connected later on. Just give me a second. Okay. There you go. So we are going to start. Yeah, I mean, with uh, with the class is just eight oh one already. Uh, so for the ones who are in here right now, uh, good evening. So everybody, uh, this is the video conference number six today, uh, or tonight in this case, we are going to start the week number two, all right? With the practice that we were providing and we were doing last class, basically we finished with uh, week number one, all right? So we're gonna be you know like moving on from that thing because tonight we are bringing a new topic a very interesting topic by the way in which it's going to require a lot of practice we're going to create a conversation at the end of the class uh and uh, we are going to be working in a couple of exercises that i'm pretty sure all right it, it's going to be you know like beneficial for you because you're going to practice a lot. So for the ones who are getting connected, good evening. Uh, and uh, for the ones who are in the house, all right, try as, you know, like the best of turning on your cameras, please, all right? Because it's like not really comfortable just to be with with Mario, with the camera on, and then the rest is like with the cameras off. And I, I, and I feel like I am talking to the wall, like that, right? So let's just start over with the class. I'm gonna start with the attendance list, and I guess uh, what I'm mentioning, these people are just going to get connected. Let me see, Gabriel Esau. Good evening, T-shirt. Hi, Gabriel. Good evening. There you go. Uh, Guadalupe Noemi. Uh, hi, T-shirt. Ah, okay. Good evening, Miss. Uh, it is Cecilia. All right, she's not here yet. Jorge Ismael. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Jose Moises. No, okay, it's not here. Judith Maribel. No, okay, she's not here yet. Carla Ivania. Carla, are you there? Okay, I guess you're there. Carla Lorena. All right, she's not there. Catherine Guadalupe. All right, it's not here. Kevin Ramiro. Present teacher. Ah, okay, good. Maria Elena. Hola, 
present. Ah, ok, perfect. Marilyn Alejandra. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Just on time, Marilyn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, who's at tiempo? Lo siento, ya no me pude conectar. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was wondering. Ayer me pasó, ayer me pasó, de, ayer me pasó de todo. Really? Creo que pude, sí. Y incluso Zoom hasta este día creo que ya como que ya no pude instalar del todo bien porque ayer sí no, no pude. O sea, que no sé qué. Se supone que cuando se actualiza el teléfono no tendría que suceder eso, pues, pero como que se formateó el teléfono y se bloqueó y no agarraba las contraseñas, así que lo tuve ah, que resetear y perdí todo. Así que no ah, tenía, ah, ni tenía nada para conectar. ¡Auch! <ríe> sí. <ríe> ni modo. Jesus pero aquí estoy, aquí estoy, aquí estoy. Estaba leyendo, al ver, alcancé a leer que decía que como que ahora es el último día para las tareas, o no sé si leí bien. That's correct, yes, yes. Actually, it was yesterday. Yesterday? Yes. Why? Because Why? tonight is class eight. Oh, I mean eight. oh my goodness. I mean six. Uh, six. Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, but it's, okay. It's, good. it's good to have you here again, okay? Okay. All right, there you go. Uh, let me see Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, Mario. Let's see Monica Maricela. Mm, okay, she got the audio disconnected. Oscar Armando. Now, okay, you're there. Patricia Guadalupe. Ah, okay, very good. You're there. Roberto Emilio. Present teacher. Ah, okay, nice. Ruth Guadalupe. Ah, okay. Uh, okay, good. Good information, man. Yeah, I mean, we don't have to throw up garbage on the street. Otherwise, you might get a fine of more than $1,000. <laughs> Ouch. Santos, Cristina. Hey, what happened to Cristina, man? I don't see her. Okay. Ah, uh, okay, Patricia. Thank you for telling me that. Jocelyn Stephanie. Present teacher. Okay, very good. You're there. Hmm. All right, just give me one second. All right. As I said, people, so we're going to start with the class S6. So now it's the beginning of the second week. Uh, we have a very different topic and we got, you know, like a very different practice in comparison to the one that we were doing yesterday. Okay. Give me a second, people. All right, Judith, good evening. Welcome. 
Okay, good. So let's just start over with uh, what we're going to be practicing for the rest of the class. Uh, but before doing that, let's just start with a short feedback about what we were discussing and practicing yesterday, people. What do you guys remember from last class? I would like to have the participation of some of you guys. All right. Can you give me opinions about what were we doing yesterday? Can somebody remember? What were we doing yesterday? It back uh, for how much of money be going to. Uh -huh. uh, there's no question. Uh, negative statement. Negative question. Statement. Okay, very good. Thank you, Mario. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, that was basically what we were doing yesterday. We were providing a general feedback about the main topics that we were discussing the four days before, right? So we were discussing about the uses of countable and uncountable nouns, using how much and how many. We were discussing that the uses of can for possibility and ask for information. We were also discussing the uses of be going to to express future, if you remember, right? And we also were discussing about what else? Those were like the main the main topics, right? That we were discussing. Okay, let's take a look at something. If you remember yesterday, you didn't finish with an activity that you were supposed to be doing. But from that activity, I am just going to choose one okay one to be checked tonight and that one is going to be the one that is on page 18 and specifically the uses of countable and uncountable nouns that's one give me one second i'm gonna project it in here it's going to be this one. We're going to be checking that, that, that one over here. All right, guys. Let's see what you got in here. Okay. And uh, you are going to be giving me what you had in here. All right. For example, if you remember, before starting the breakout rooms, I gave you guys this one in which you have the answers and basically you had to create the questions and in the answers you had i have 50 boxes of thread right in here i can say as a question how many boxes i don't know if you have it like that how many boxes of thread teacher would you have hello teacher but good night teacher Mire, hi, hi, ayer christina. ayer hubieron clases sí o no yes christina que fíjese que yo pregunté al whatsapp y nadie me dijo nada yo pensé que todavía seguía incapacitado a cuál whatsapp preguntó cristina perdón a cuál whatsapp preguntó ah. A, donde, a uno donde nos avisaron que, que, que no íbamos a recibir las clases dos días. No, hombre, Cristina, hubiera preguntado en el grupo, yo ahí mandé la noticia. No sé, pero no me aparece su WhatsApp ahí, fíjese. ¿Really? Ah, sí, ayer en la tarde envié la, la notificación de que íbamos a tener clase. Que Creo, que me puede agregar a, Creo que me hace, me hace el favor de agregarme, teacher. Claro, WhatsApp. en un momento más, cuando... Te, cuando Deje de proyectar esto sí. del, del, del manual. Le voy a enviar el link para que se pueda unir. Por favor, gracias. Okay. Pero usted gracias. ya está en el grupo, ¿cierto? Es que eso es lo que yo no entiendo, fíjese, porque no me cayeron los mensajes. Hmm. Permítame un, un, un eso momento. Eso es lo que no comprendo, porque give no me, me cayó el mensaje. Give me one second. Ok. Debo suponer que a los demás ya les llegó ese mensaje que envía el grupo. 
A usted, revise su teléfono, Cristina. A ver si le ha llegado mensaje. Ahorita. No, teacher. Nothing. No, nothing. Lo ha bloqueado. Y sabe, <risa> inconscientemente. <risa> es posible. Ah, ah, eh, eh, inconscientemente. Eh, eh, <risa> <risa> Le dio silenciar. Ni le creo, Cristina. No, no, mentira, teacher, pero sí no sé por qué no recibo los mensajes. Sí. Bueno, ya le, voy a, ya, ya le voy a mandar el código de grupo de nuevo, ¿ok? No problem with that. Va, teacher, y so, perdone que sí, ayer yo pensé que todavía estaba incapacitado, por eso es de que no, no me conecté. Uh, bueno, según la hojita sí todavía estaba incapacitado, pero igual ya no podíamos seguir sí, perdiendo sí. tanta clase. Así, no así ha de haber sido. Algo yeah. así me imaginé. Exactly. Bye. Exactly. All right. So let's continue with this. Uh, in here, I have created a question for the answer. All right. Using, remember, how many? Because in here, the answer, it's talking about what? It's talking about boxes of thread. Cajas de hilo. Right. So in that case, that, that's what it means. Boxes of thread. Now, but... What do you have in number two, people? Vamos a preguntar así de forma random. What do you have in number two? For example, in number two says, they have some floor cleaners. What do you have in the question? ¿Qué pasó con Kevin? Uy, perdón. <laughs> okay. <laughs> teacher que no le había puesto mute. Perdón. Okay, okay, no problem. All right, people, what did you have in question number two? How many floor cleaners do they have? Ah, uh, okay, thank you, Judith. It says, how many floor cleaners do, actually, do they have, right? Do they have, like this. How many floor cleaners do they have? I mean, they have some floor cleaners. So in this case, even though it is not a specifying a quantity, but it says floor cleaners. So that one is plural. So by consequence, remember, every word that you can pluralize is uncountable. So in that case, that's why you got the question with how many and not how much. Good. What about number three? Can somebody help me out, please? Alguien que me ayude con la número tres. It says he needs two gallons of gas for the lift. What do you have there, people? ¿Qué tenemos ahí? Oops, give me one second. I'm gonna make this one over here. Ah, uh -huh. good. What do you have in that one? It says the answer. He needs two gallons of gas for the left. No sería how much ahí. ¿Cómo le quedaría entonces? How much? Um, pero miro. How much pero, gallons of gas? Pero si los galones están en altura. No. That's, 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 that's something to take in consideration, as Mario says. Listen. En vez de dar la respuesta es. <laughs> no, Just listen. Me. Listen. In this case, pueden ser ambas formas de preguntar. ¿Cómo así? Listen. Dependiendo del tipo de resultado que pongamos en la respuesta, 
¿va? podemos escribirlo de la manera contable, pero también de la manera incontable. Vaya, pongámoslo de la manera contable. In this case, as Mario says, it says galons. So in this case, it's countable. All right? And I would say, how many gallons of gas? Listen up. Does, because in this case, it's third person, right? The answer. You got he. Okay, it says, how many gallons of gas does he need for the left? You got it like this, and you can have another way of question like this. How much gas does he need for the left? Look. You can have it both ways. Lo podemos usar de ambas maneras. All right. Y podemos tener una misma respuesta para ambas all right, formas okay, de, 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 esa, de esa respuesta. Okay. So we can have both ways. All right. Let's follow up with the next one. What about with number four? It says, we want six packs of butter bars. What do you think is the question? ¿Cómo creen ustedes que sería la pregunta? People, for the ones who are active, besides Roberto and Mario, aparte Roberto y Mario, and uh, uh, los que están activos, ¿cómo sería? Using how much or using how many? My people, you use, I, I, I remember you told me last class, nah, man, everything is okay with this topic. We understand this topic. We understand how to use how much. We understand how to use how many. So what's up in here? How many? Continue. I said, um, how many? Quiero uh -huh. ver, espérenme, que me estoy familiarizando porque yo no estuve. Uh -huh. Sería, how many six packs we want of butter bars, no sé, digo yo, que es así. How many? Ajá, uh, 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 six packs. We want, ay, uh, creo. Ajá, uh -huh. whatever. So. Ahí pueden ser cualquiera de esos dos uh, 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 subjects, like to put it like that. Ya sea you or sí. we. But in this Pero case... Pero verdad que sí es how many, ¿verdad? Okay, yeah, I mean, how many, it goes there. But in this case, people, do you agree with Marilyn con el desarrollo de la pregunta? ¿Está todo bien? ¿Qué opinan ustedes? Insisto, people, a ustedes les, les hizo mal esos dos días de vacación extra. Me han venido muy callados.
Yo pienso que está bien con Mini porque es contable. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, all right. When Guadalupe says yummy and it's correct, we use how many, but in this case, what is the thing that we need to change? Listen, I'm going to make a short change in here. Look, how many, in this case, no vamos a poner six, porque six is la respuesta. Es la respuesta de cuántos paquetes de mantequilla en este caso. All right, o de yummy, yeah, it is. Necesitamos, no queremos. Any, in the question, it will be, how many packs of butter bars do we want? Or do you want? Okay. So in this case, the question, it will be like this. Entonces, la pregunta quedaría de este modo. Eso era lo único que teníamos que eliminar de esa zona. All right. And it will be like this. Now, with the last one, people. You got Anna and Hugo need a lot of water. What is the question? Or how, in this case, is the question? Uh, how much water does Anna and Hugo need? You say that? Ah, well, look, give me one second. Okay, how much water? How much water does Anna and Hugo need? Like this? All right. Sí. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Guadalupe. Ahora vamos a pasar a otra Guadalupe. Solo quiero que me diga sí o no. Ruth. Is that correct? Just tell me, yes or no? I don't want to make you speak that much because I know you, you are super sick, all right? But, but I just want you to... Uh, no, no, no. G give me one second. How do you have? Uh, no le escuché. Es que no le escuché, Ruth. Sorry. La mía está un poco diferente. Ah, why different? Pero no what do you have? Si la mía es, está correcta. Okay. And what do you have? Uh, how much? Uh, why? Do, do they need? <clears throat> do they need? So in this case, eliminating eliminating this like this. Is that correct? And you got in here instead of Anna and Hugo, you got they like this. Is that correct? Okay. Listen. In este caso, cualquiera de las dos formas que ustedes tienen acá, al menos en este, en este aspecto con el uso del subject, está correcto. ¿En qué aspecto? Is that correct? Vaya, lo único que no estaba correcto eh, con respecto a la pregunta que Ana dijo, I mean, que Guadalupe dijo, sería acá. En vez de das, era do. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos hablando de dos personas, Ana y Hugo. And that is something plural. All right? Si solo dijese Ana, ya yeah, sería das. O si solo dijese Hugo, ya, yeah, I mean, that would be das. Pero en este caso, como mencionas dos personas, that would be plural. So in that case, that's correct. Así que si dicen Ana y Hugo o simplemente dicen they, es correct. Si la tienen de este modo. All right? This is the way how it shall be. So in that case, both ways are definitely correct. Okay, good. Now, I am going to stop in here, people, because I do really want to move on with the topic that we are going to be discussing tonight because it's a little bit extensed. 
right? So I don't want you to, you know, like be here more uh, than the expected time that you should be here. So I'm going to project the presentation that we got for tonight. And it's going to be this one. So remember, this is the video conference number six. We're just studying uh, what? Week number two, all right? And tonight's topic is going to be demonstrative pronouns, all right? In Spanish, this one, it will be pronombres demonstrativos, okay? Good. Have you ever heard this uh, pronouns in English before? ¿Alguna vez han escuchado de estos pronombres anteriormente en inglés? Yes or no? No, teacher. In your case, no. All right, Gabriel. Hmm. All right, so let's move on with this. All right, what's the most relevant for the class agenda or what we have for the rest of the class? We just had the review from the previous topic. There's something that we're not gonna stop that much. All right, we're gonna start now with the uses of demonstrative pronouns, giving the explanation of uh, how to use them, all right? You're gonna provide a couple of examples using them in context. And then at the end, we're gonna be working in the manual in a couple of exercises that we are going to be, you know, like practicing. So this is pretty much what we have. Now, for that, we're gonna need a, a very useful vocabulary, or I got you a very useful vocabulary that probably we will need them at the end. And the first vocabulary word I got for you here, people, is purchase. What is purchase? What do you think is purchase? Compras. Okay, good. Or as a verb, comprar. Okay. También funciona como verbo, que también significa comprar. So this is a synonym of... Uh, Buy. Hmm. Of this one. It's a synonym of this one. Then you got want. Everybody knows what is this verb about, right? Todos conocen este verbo, ¿cierto? Want. Okay, so I guess everybody knows them. All right. Everybody knows what's a credit card. All right. What else? You got a debit card. This vocabulary, we will need them in a couple of examples that we're going to be doing later on, okay? We got an order. In this case, order, we're going to uh, uh, put it like the product that you want to buy, okay? In this case, an order is like the choice of a product that you want to buy. And then we got the first sell that everybody knows what is that, okay? Everybody knows that sells means vender, right? Good. So taking a brief look about this vocabulary, let's move to the sentences. All right, and we got at the end pay. Okay, let's go. Demonstrative pronouns. Okay, check this out. Roberto, help me out reading. A demonstrative pronoun is a pronoun. Use the point something out. Demonstrative pronouns are. Ah, okay, thank you. Thank you, mister. So in this case, 
what it says is the definition about this type of pronouns. It says, listen, a demonstrative pronoun is a pronoun used to point something out. Simple y sencillamente, un demonstrative pronoun es un pronombre que nos sirve para básicamente apuntar o señalizar algo de lo que se está hablando. Ok. That's the definition about a demonstrative pronoun. Okay. And in here, we got the first two. We got this and that. Tenemos los primeros dos acá. This and that. Okay. And in that case, we use this and that mostly for singular nouns. Then we got these and those for plural nouns. All right. Y acá ya estamos hablando que usamos estos como, all right, plurales. O básicamente para representar nombres en plural. Cool. Ahora que tenemos los cuatro demos pronouns que vamos a estar practicando. Les pregunto, ¿los conocen ya? Yes. Do you know them? Ok. Marilyn says yes. ¿Hay alguien acá que no los conocía? Yo no estoy muy familiarizada con, con eso. No. Ah, okay, perfect. Through the practicing here, we're gonna get familiar to this type of pronouns. So let's start over with this. We're gonna split them into each section and we are going to be talking about each one of them. And we're going to start with this. Vamos a comenzar con los primeros dos que son usados en singular. La pronunciación correcta de este, de este pronombre demostrativo, recuerden, es this. This. All right. That's the correct pronunciation. And the pronunciation is a little bit short, right? Just this. Okay, we got it like this. Maria Elena, help me out reading the definition. Maria Elena. Mm, okay, I guess she is not there. Uh, Jorge, help me out reading the definition. This is often used for singular nouns that are close from use. Okay, that is close from us. Thank you, mister. Thank you. So in that case, what it says in here is like that we use the word these or the demonstrative pronoun these, okay, for singular nouns that are close from us. What does it mean? Usamos, para, eh, usamos la palabra this o el demonstrative pronoun this para nombres que están en singular. Recuerden eso y que están cerca de nosotros. Es todo aquello que nosotros podemos tocar. ¿Cómo se traduce esta palabra en español? This, pues se produce, se, se traduce como esto o esta, o este. Remember, esto, este, esta. Okay, depending on basically if the word is all right, uh, male or female. In this case, I can say, look, if I got an example, I, I will say, look, this, listen, this is my cell phone. 
So, porque es algo que tengo cerca y que puedo tocar, all right, yo puedo utilizar esta palabra, ¿ok? Usa, eh, o básicamente este pronombre demostrativo, all right? As the examples that I got here. Check this out. Yo puedo decir, this computer is very fast. Acá por lo general usamos el verbo to be. Recuerden que cuando usamos la forma is del verbo to be es porque algo es singular. Y si usamos el are, ok, es porque por lo general algo es plural. All right. So you got to understand that part. So if I say this computer is very fast, es porque está cerca de mí y puedo tocarlo. Ok. Esta computadora es bien rápida. Next example. Check this out. Um, let me see. Let me see. Gabriel, help me read. I want to buy this pair of shoes. This pair of shoes. Thank you, Gabriel. It says, I want to buy this pair of shoes. Es como cuando estamos en la zapatería, ok, y queremos decir, ah, me quiero comprar este par de zapatos. Está cerca de ellos, básicamente, ok, y pues básicamente es porque los puede tocar, por así decirlo. All right, It's something that is pretty close. All right, and in this case, y en este caso, ustedes pueden decir, ah, pero choose es plural, pero acá, como estamos hablando de un par, a pair, That makes it singular, okay? So that's why we use this. All right, let's continue. And we got this, this other example. So take a look at this one. Let me see. <clears throat> Oscar, can you please read this one? Hey teacher, uh, she like this cell phone. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, mister. So okay. in that case it says, okay. she likes, listen up, she likes, recuerden, llevamos la S en el verbo porque estamos hablando de una tercera persona. Si yo digo, she likes this cell phone, es algo que está básicamente cerca de mí, de mí que estoy hablando. All right, so in this case, that's why, y recuerden, cuando es algo, singular, que solo se refiere a un solo objeto. All right? So remember, we use this with singular nouns that are very close, close, close from us. Okay? Good. Until here, are we understanding this topic? Hasta acá, ¿vamos comprendiendo cómo funciona? Yes, teacher. Mm, okay. Yes, good. teacher. Very good. And can you provide me with one example? ¿Podrían hacerme un ejemplo corto? ¿Con algo que ustedes tengan a la mano cerca de ustedes? You can use it like that. Pueden usar algo corto que esté cerca, cerca de ustedes. All right. Y ustedes pueden decir, ah, mi teacher, this is my bottle of water. This is my computer. This is my cell phone. This is my table. Or you might say, ah, this is my bed. Things like that. Mario can say, ah, look, a teacher, this is my bitch. The one behind him. <laughs> Give me one example sentence. I want to see if you are really understanding this part. <laughs> exactly, Mario. You can use that one. This is my keyboard. Ah, okay, very good. Yeah, I mean that's your keyboard. Very good. Somebody else. This is my my not not notebook. <laughs> not notebook. <laughs> Perdón, es que esta <laughs> <laughs> this is 
my netbook. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Ruth. Yeah, very good. All right, very good. You can say like that. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable to be like that. It's incomodo estar así. I know that. I know. Okay, good. Gabriel? Okay. This computer is off. Uh, okay, very good. Thank you, mister. Somebody else? Alguien más que la tenga? Turn on your microphone and read it this is my pencil okay very good that's your pencil nice somebody else alguien más What did you just say, Cristina? I didn't listen. Creo que alcancé a escuchar a Cristina que dijo, this is my Ferrari. This is uh, my agenda. Ah, my agenda. Ah, okay, escuché mal entonces. Thank you, Cristina. Te lo voy a decir. Okay. Sí, se arrepintió. Sí, se arrepintió. Ni le creo, Cristina. <laughs> okay, good. Somebody else? This is my nail polish. Ah, okay, good, Marilyn. Good. I am in. This is my agenda. Thank you, Cristina. All right, and thank you, Marilyn. Roberto? And this is my, my t-shirt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Good. Good. All right. Somebody else who is active in here? Guadalupe? This is my scissor. Ah, okay. Good. 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 Let me see somebody else. Ivania? Uh, this is my cell phone. This is my cell phone. Okay, good. There you go. Somebody else, Kevin? You there, Kevin? Hmm. Okay, okay, I guess Kevin is not there. Let me see. Monica got the audio disconnected, so she's not there. Carla, are you are you there, Carla? Yes, teacher. Voy llegando, pero ya voy a activar la cámara. Ah, okay. Okay. Good. Have you been listening what we'll be talking about? Excuse me. Have you listened about the topic we have been talking about or no? No, teacher. No, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Get comfortable to your house yet and then you can practice. Okay. Jorge. Read yours, Jorge. This is my car. Now, nah, okay. Very good. Jocelyn. This is my mother. Oh, okay, okay, good, good. That's your mother. Let me see somebody else. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I guess everybody has already participated. So let's move on. So that's with the uses of did. Remember, esto es con relación a los usos de el pronombre demostrativo this para decir este, esta, esto. Now, let's use that. When do we use that? Okay, 
Take a look at this one. Oscar, help me out reading, please. Okay, permítame, teacher. All right. Okay, that is you say with singular noun that are far, far from use and we can uh -huh. switch as an. Um, de nuevo, de nuevo, mejor. Uh, okay, okay. That, uh, okay. That is you say which singular noun that are far from use and we can touch in the moment. Okay, thank you, mister. Thank you. It You're says that that is mostly used with singular nouns. Remember, it's similar to this, but what is the difference? Listen. This is más que todo para cosas que tenemos cerca, cosas que podemos agarrar con la mano, all right, and everything. That is para cosas en singular que están lejos de nuestro alcance. Okay? Que a lo mejor las podemos ver, pero estamos lejos de eso. Okay? That's basically the difference between this and that. For example, check this out. That store is far from here. I mean, aquí that quiere decir ese, esa, eso. Okay? Ese, esa, eso. That's the translation that we can provide to that. And it says that story far from here. Ah, esa tienda está lejos de acá. Porque usamos that porque no estamos, okay, cerca o dentro de la tienda. Entonces, por eso no podemos usar this, sino that. Okay, this, this one, check this out. Judith, help me reading. That TV is perfect for my sister. Uh, okay, very good. That TV is perfect for my sister. All right, there you go. And we've got an extra one. Jorge, tell me a ring. I want to buy that car. Okay, and it's say, I mean, I want to buy that car. Ah, quiero comprar ese carro. You see? Posiblemente estamos a una distancia considerable en la cual, pues, no puedo decir, ah, este. Okay, que no está cerca de donde yo estoy. There you go. So, en ese caso usamos that. Lo recuerden, siempre con un nombre en singular. All right? Something singular. Not plural. All right, people. Mm, are we understanding this thing? Vamos comprendiendo el uso de that. Is there any question? Uh, Tenemos alguna pregunta? No? Okay. Good, good. There you go. Ahora, vamos a lo mismo. Could you please give me one example about something that you got far from you? Okay, give Yo me teacher. one example. Okay, Oscar. Usando el dat, va. Mm -hmm. eh, that's a very tall building. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. That's a very tall building. Ah, okay, building. Okay, thank you, Oscar. Very good. That's a, a very tall uh -huh. building. Very good. Sure. Thank you, thank you. Somebody else? Yes, Gabriel. 
That cinema is open at night. That cinema is open at night. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you, mister. Somebody that, else? The tree is big. Okay, good, good. That tree is big. Super nice. Somebody else? That car is very fast. Okay, nice. Nice. Somebody else? Uh, that fame hardly works. Uh, that? That fame, creo que se pronuncia. Ventilador. Ah, that fun. That fun hardly works. Ah, uh, en, ese, en ese caso sería works hard. Works hard. Ah, ah ok, ok. No, no, no. Give me one second. Hardly, hardly works. Ok, that's correct. That's correct. Casi apenas, no, no. apenas trabaja. <laughs> <laughs> ok, ok. I got you. Thank you, Guadalupe. Son. Somebody else? Alguien más? Yeah, people. Mm -hmm. That is Sunset Park. That is Sunset Park. Okay, okay. Good. Jocelyn? That bed is perfect for me. Mm, okay, good, good. Talking about bed, I haven't found the perfect bed for me. I haven't found it. Nice. Somebody else? Alguien más? That's my motorcycle. Ay, es que, disculpe que escuché mal. ¿Podría repetirme otra vez? Ok. That's, that's my motorcycle. Ah, motorcycle. Motorcycle. Ah, es que había escuchado otro nombre. Sorry. All right. Ok, perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you, thank you. Uh, somebody else, people... I always buy in that supermarket. Okay, perfect, Judith. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Super good. Okay, I guess everybody has already participated. Ah, oh, no. Ruth is missing. Okay, Ruth. Okay. <clears throat> that, 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 that. is broken. <clears throat> that glass is broken. Ah, okay. That glass is broken. Okay, very good. Thank you, Ruth. Thank you. Okay, I guess most of you or all of you have already participated. So let's move on. Remember, this something singular and close from you. That something singular far from you, okay? Super far from you. Now. Ah, okay, <laughs> sería this. Se usa con una palabra en singular cerca de usted, para decir este o esta o esto. That yeah. es para usar palabra en singular igual, pero lejos de usted. Por ejemplo, el avión está lejos de mí, ¿cómo tengo que decir? That airplane is far from me. That, that, is plane. that, that airplane is far from me. It's far from me. Okay. That's it. All right. Yeah. Okay. Good. Now, let's take a look at this word. Ahora bien, listen. La pronunciación de este es casi, casi similar al primero que estuvimos viendo. 
La pronunciación de este es this. Ah, pero ustedes van a decir, ah, pero se escucha lo mismo. Casi, casi. Pero la única diferencia es que aquella era más corta. Aquella por lo general es this, this, this. Este es this, ok, this. Ah, pero cómo identificarlo. All right. ¿Cómo identificarlo en una oración? ¿Cuál voy a poner? Si this del singular. Va, sencillo. Este this se utiliza para nombres en plural que están cerca de nosotros. Ok. This one is for plurals, nouns in plural that are close from us. That's what it says in here. Look, this is used with plural nouns close from us. All right. And we got a series of examples. Take a look at this one. Cristina, help me reading. This is, you say, with The example, plural. Cristina. Um, ah, perdón. The example, I need yeah. To send, okay, okay. I need to send this docu document. This document. documents. This ah, okay. Document. Okay. okay, thank you, thank you. Listen, I need to send these documents. ¿Cómo identificarlo? Okay, a uh, comparación con el otro. Pues acá, sencillo. Look, check this out. Acá yo tengo este nombre en plural. Okay, si yo acá le elimino la S a esta palabra, ya no podría usar este, sino ya usaría el que vimos anteriormente. Ya estaríamos hablando de this. Ok. Si yo vengo y elimino qué? Y elimino la S en este, en esta palabra. All right. Remember that, ok. Good. Let's continue. All right, check this out. Jocelyn, help me reading. She has to buy this boots. Okay, very good. She has to buy these books. So in this case, ¿qué estamos diciendo ahí? Ah, mi, ella necesita, o oh, bueno, en este caso, ella tiene que comprar estos libros. Recuerden, ahí la traducción es estos, estas. Estos, estas. Es la traducción de esa palabra. O oh, de ese all right, demonstrative pronoun in that case. Good. Let's continue. We got another example. Judith, help me reading, please. She went uh, a <laughs> hundred. Yes, perfect, perfect. Dollars to buy these new speakers. Ah, okay, very good. It says these new speakers. That one is plural, remember. So that's why I got the word these, okay? He wants $100 to buy these New speakers. Ah, necesita, él necesita 100 dólares para comprar estos nuevas o estas nuevas bocinas. Ok. So, good. So, we got this because in that case, the word, remember, the word speakers is in plural. Good. Any question with that? Vamos comprendiendo. ¿Alguna pregunta con respecto a cómo usar esta palabra en plural. Everything okay? Okay, cool. I guess you are understanding everything I'm saying. Teacher. Yes. Uh, dice que I use with plural nouns. Se usa con, con palabras en plural y Uh -huh. Están cerca. Cosas que tenemos cerca, correcto. Oh, ok. Por eso la traducción es estos, estas. ¿Right? Porque es algo 
para referirnos a cosas que tenemos cerca o personas incluido, inclusive que tenemos cerca de nosotros. Ok. Cool, cool. Ahora bien, ya saben lo que les voy a pedir, así que háganme un ejemplo en lo que me hacen eso. Paso la segunda asistencia. I'm going to stop sharing this. Give me one second. Good. Proceed with your example, okay? In the meantime, I'm going to pass the attendance list. Gabriel Esaú. Present. Ah, okay, good. Give me one second. Guadalupe Noemi. Present. Ah, okay, good. It is Cecilia. I am and she's there, which is BC. Jorge Ismael. Present. Ah, okay, good. Jose Moises. No, okay, he's not here. Judith Maribel. Present. Okay, good. Judith, one question. I haven't been with you in the in the 10 minutes feedback, right? Oh no. ¿Verdad que todavía no hemos estado en, los, en, los, en el feedback? Okay, cool. Lo vamos a tener no. esta noche, okay? Okay. Just for you to remember. Good. Good. Carla Ivania. Present teacher. All right, cool. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Nice. Catherine Guadalupe. All right, she's not here. Kevin Ramiro. Present teacher. Ah, okay, good. María Elena. Present. Mm, ok. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Ah, ok, good. Mario Ernesto. Present. All right, Mónica Maricela. Uh, Oscar Armando. Present teacher. Ok, good. Patricia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Ok. Roberto Emilio. Present teacher. Ok, good. Rod Guadalupe. Present teacher. Nice. Santos Cristina. Present teacher. All right. And the last one. Jocelyn Stephanie. Present. Ah, okay, very good. So let's start over with this. Okay, with the examples. Ah, good. Some of you ya los mandaron en chat. Vamos a ver. Oscar, read the one that you sent in the chat. Ah, sí, teacher. Eh, I want to buy this shoes. Puedo usar el this de in, no al inicio, sino casi intermedio. Yes, of course. Yeah, you no can do it. Ah, ok. Perfect, perfect. Chévere. Thank you, mister. Gracias. All right. Judy. This cat looks friendly. Ok. These cats look Friendly. En este caso, solo una pequeña modificación. Sin la S. Porque tenemos cats. Es plural. Ok. Very good. Thank you, Judith. Ruth, do you have your example? I will eat these pupusas. <laughs> ok. Good. You're talking about pupusas, man. And I have been on diet. Estoy hablando de pupusas y he estado en dieta toda la semana. Eh, that's horrible. My worst week ever, man. Mi peor semana. 
Oh, Mario, give me your example, Mario. I am wearing these headphones. headphones. Wow, oh, okay. Good, good. Guadalupe? Um, he needs uh, these headphones. Okay, good, good. Carla? Uh, these books are mine. Ah, okay, perfect, perfect. Let me see, Cristina. Okay, I guess she's not there, Roberto. Okay, these children are playing. Mm, okay, these children are playing. Marilyn? Marilyn? Ay, no podía quitar el silencio, perdón. And I, saw, and, and I thought, ah, no, my Marilyn is sleeping. <laughs> no, no estoy dormida. Ay, qué barbaridad. <laughs> Yo siempre thought, le tengo I que thought. dar, le tengo que decir que no, mire, estoy despierta. No, pues, y como no me contestaba, yo pensé que ya está roncando. No, mira. si él estaba ahí poner aquí esto y dije, hasta mi teléfono ya no sirve. Lo siento. <risa> ok. Pero no, ah. no estoy dormida, estoy despierta. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <risa> El que ah. yo hice es. These Ajá, are yeah. my shoes. <laughs> okay, these are my shoes. <laughs> right. Okay, thank you, Marily. Let me see. Gabriel? Gabriel, are you there? Okay, I guess he's not there. Carla, Ivania. Uh, you can read uh, this letter. Letters. Uh, okay, uh -huh. these letters. Okay, okay, good, good. Let me see, let me see. Jorge? He wants to sell these pants. Ah, okay, good, good. Jocelyn? Um, I buy this apple. Mm, okay, good. Oscar? You there, Oscar? Sí, teacher. Eh, permítame. Necesito un ejemplo de la usando el dis. Correct. Ah, no. oh, me perdí. That's correct. These children are playing. Okay, good example. These children are playing. Good, good. Okay. Maria Elena, are you there? Okay, I guess just no there. So you're gonna be the last people to participate. Now, let's move on. 
Give me one second. What did I touch in here? Ah, it's this one. We want to see the last part, people. So we were discussing about the uses of these. Now, let's jump into those. The pronunciation for this word is those. Remember, those. All right? Mm -hmm. Those. Okay, when do we use those? Ah, uh, those is used with plural nouns far from us. Acá those tiene la misma función que el pronombre demostrativo that, con la única diferencia de que those es para plural, nombres en plural. Okay? That is the only difference. Let me see. Okay, Patty. Let's continue. Check this out. There's examples. Mario, help me read in this one. We need to prepare those documents. Uh, okay. Good. En ese caso decimos, ah, necesito o necesitamos en este caso, all right, preparar esos documentos. Acá, those tiene la función o la traducción de esos, esas. Ok. Esos, esas. La forma en cómo podemos traducir those. Ah, we got this one out. Carla. Let's read. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Read the example, please. Okay. She has to buy those shoes. Ah, okay, thank you. It says she has to buy those shoes. Ah, mi niña tiene que comprar esos zapatos. Good. Let's move. Marilyn. Yes. Let's read the, the next example. Okay. He likes to spend time with us near and place. Ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. And I think we got those ones. Okay, good. Copy those examples and then just let me know in order to move on, okay? Copy los. Me dicen cuando terminen para pasar ya a los ejercicios and I guess everything is clear with this one right y pues básicamente ese es un breve digamos como introducción a cada uno de los demonstrative pronouns que vamos a ver en esta clase recuerden son cuatro this, that, this and those two of them for plural nouns two of them for singular nouns Right. Let me know when you finish writing, please. Anything. 
Uh, you finished? Okay. There you go. You have already finished. Okay. Uh, I think these questions are we're gonna we're gonna see them in the manual. Uh, there are a couple of questions, but I'm gonna stop in here with this, and I'm gonna show them in the manual. Okay. Now. Oh uh, yeah, we got a lot of things to do in the manual. So let's go into the manual, people, and let's open up the page. 19, vamos a la página 19 de una vez. To the page 19, over here. Okay. From here and on, we are going to be working in the breakout rooms, okay? De acá, pues ya nos vamos a ir a trabajar a los breakout rooms. Listen, what are we going to do in here? ¿Qué vamos a hacer acá? Dice, Listen to the pronunciation of the different steps uh, to follow when making an online purchase, then write down the steps in order. Vamos a ver. Vamos a leer esta parte acá. Acá creo que es, ya, ya tenemos entendido algunas de la, la, bueno, la mayoría de estas palabras. Dice, credit cards information. Credit cards information, right? Información de tarjeta de crédito. Confirm your information and submit confirm your information and submit confirmar su información y enviar select it the items or the item to purchase select the item or items to purchase seleccionar el artículo o artículos para comprar go to the online web page Vea la página web. Write your billing address. All right. Escribir tu dirección de, de, de recibo. In this case. Check the price. Revisar el precio. Confirm the method of payment. Confirmar el método de pago. And log into your account. Y entrar, ok, a tu cuenta. That's what it means. Ok. ¿Qué vamos a hacer cuando nos vayamos a los breakout rooms con esta información? Listen, básicamente aquí lo que hay es la información o los pasos a seguir para hacer una compra desde el principio hasta el final. Lo que me tienen que hacer ustedes es colocar en orden esa serie de pasos. Ok, son ocho pasos. Luego, cuando ya hayamos terminado, when we have already finished doing that, then, nos vamos a venir para acá. Dice, in context, circle the correct answer. Acá lo que me van a hacer es poner en círculo si es la forma correcta. Bueno, dependiendo de la forma correcta, si es those, si es that, si es, ok, these o these. Para completar las oraciones. All right. Vamos a ir por etapas. Vamos primero a hacer eso. Luego volvemos acá, revisamos y pasamos a la siguiente página, ¿ok? That's the way we're going to be working on. Good. ¿Alguna pregunta? Any question? No? Ok. Good. Good, 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 good. Let me see. ¿Podrían levantarme, aunque sea una mano, o encender la cámara los que van a participar, please? Los que no están como oyentes. All right, Jorge, Ivania, Gabriel. Los demás están como, eh, eh, están ocupados como oyentes. Jocelyn, will you participate? Oscar. Sí, estoy. Ah, ok, Oscar, you're there. Todavía voy en el bus. Ah, ok. Good, good, good. Bueno. Vamos a ver cómo hacemos acá. Vamos a sign them manually.
<laughs> All right, people, let's open up the breakout rooms and let's go to work. Cristina, let's enter to the breakout rooms. Diga, Richard. Eh, Charreta le mandé la opción para que entre al, a, los, a los espacios de trabajo. Ok, ahorita. All right. Están las dos Carlas. <risa> ya vio, vean. Ya vio que están las dos Carlas. No, no puso a las dos Carlas el teacher. Sí. <risa> Qué bien. Vaya, dice. Paz para hacer. La única. No, no hay sé si... No sí. sé si puede compartir la pantalla porque yo desde mi teléfono estoy. No está. sé si está desde su... Ajá. El tercero sería... El método, confirmar el método de pago, ¿verdad? Y Ajá. luego selecciona el artículo. Este es un... Lo, ah, ingresa a tu cuenta, algo así. Ingresa a tu cuenta. Ajá. Esa sería oh, la segunda. Las dos. Ajá. Uh -huh. okay. Logra bien. Hola, hola. All right. Hola. Good. I'm going to join you to this group porque vi que estaba solo ahí y no, nadie se conectó de ese grupo. Creo que estaba entre los grupos que, 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 que están ocupados, la mayoría. Uh, así que, I'm going to let you to be here, ¿ok? Ah, ok. Nice. Ok. Ok. Porque creo que hasta de último se pone la información de la Ajá. dirección y todo eso. O no. Sí. Va antes. Mm. Ah, pues no. No, entonces sí sería. Entonces seleccionar eh, como el artículo. De Ajá. Compra. Ajá. De, de... de de 
Ok, luego que seleccionamos el objeto que va. Y de ahí el precio, ¿verdad? Oh, o oh, no. Check to price. Sí, porque primero seleccionamos lo que queremos. Ajá. Y luego vemos. Este es el price. Luego. Uh -uh. Credit cards information. Ajá, sí. No, o sería confirme su método de pago. Confirme ah, sí, 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 sí. payment. Y de sí, ahí es sería credit, credit card, card ¿sí? information. Ajá, uh -huh. confirm. Confirm that. Of payment. Y luego Credit card information Ajá, credit card information Ah, pero no pusimos Ah, no, ajá Yo creo que de último es Confirm your information a submit Sí, eh, aquí sería La de la dirección Creo que dice hay una Que me Ajá, write your billing address. Ajá, write, write your billing, billing address. Ajá. Así es, teacher. Let me see. Try to Vamos finish. Bien, oh, con el try orden to, casi. Try, try to finish and then I'm going to let you know. <laughs> Ahorita vamos a terminar, pero solo nos falta la última, que es Confirm your information and submit. Sí. Uh -huh. Information and submit. Sí, ¿verdad? Hey, teacher. Go to the online web page. Okay, let's see. Uh, go to the online web page. Okay. Log into your account. All right. Good, good, good. Number three. Select the item, all right, to purchase, good. Check the price, all right, good. Confirm the method of payment, excellent. Credit card's information, and no. In this case, because in this case, it's first write your billing address and then the credit card information. That's the only one. That's the only one. Porque este. Porque por lo general eh, le piden su domicilio para después el método eh, para después el. La información poner de la, la información de la tarjeta, correcto. Entonces. La dirección no sería en el paso 5. Ajá. No. Hola. Más arriba. La dirección no sería el paso 5. Eh, no, porque en este caso primero le van a pedir el método de pago. Para después la información. Después la información de su tarjeta. La edad. Bye. La última sí es confirm your information and submit. That's correct. Yes. Okay. Nice people. Good, good. Creo que eso lo tenemos que subrayar. Yeah, yeah. Lo demás solamente es select press this or that, okay? Esta. 
Are you about to finish? No. Ahí. Quiero ver ahí sería. Um... No sería confirm the method of payment. Esa, la, la. Mm -hmm. Hello, people. Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Just give me, I, I'm going to check one more group and then we're going to go back, okay? Okay. Are you about to finish, people? Ya casi. Solo nos faltan tres. Oh, what happened to Give me one second. What did I do here? El segundo sería that. That's it. Está en singular. Do you want to buy this refrigerator? It's this group. This group. This, verdad? Sí. Menciono que va de diferentes colores, pero es un, un refrigerador el que quiere comprar. Sí, sí, creo, sí. Ah, sí, Okay. En this, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, good. Let's go and check what you got, ok? Vamos a revisar lo que tienen en la sala principal y luego volvemos por los demás ejercicios. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, I brought you here because I know uh, all of you have already finished. So let's check what you got in the first page. And then we're going to go back to continue with the second page, okay? Now, I'm going to project the manual. Oops, give me one second. Where is the manual? Oh, okay, here. Here it is. Okay. Good. So you got it in here, people. Bien, me van, a ir, me van a ir mencionando cada uno, ok. ¿Cuál es lo que tienen ustedes acá? Ok. So, in number one, for example, Judith, what do you have? I'm going to annotate in here your answer. I have first go to the online web page. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now let's move on with the next one. Mm -mm -mm. Let me see. Carla. Okay. Log in to your account. Ah, okay. Log in, okay, to your account. Very good. That's number two. 
Cristina, what do you have in number three? Select the, select the item for tax. For tax. Ah, okay. To purchase. Okay, very good. Oscar, what do you have in number four? Okay, teacher. Number four is check the price. Okay, excellent. Check the price. Okay, very good. What about number five, Marilyn? Marilyn? Marilyn, are you there? Se nos durmió Marilyn. Okay, Mario. What did you have in that one, mister? Number five. Yes. Confirm the method of payment. Confirm the method of payment. Okay, very good. What about number six? Ioania. Mm -hmm. I come on, no, you don't. <laughs> it's great you're billing others. Address. Give me one second. Happening here. Ah, I, I checked those ones, right? To you. What is it? Great uh, you're billing others. Right. Your billing address. Okay. Let me see who's gonna be next. Ruth. Number seven. <laughs> Seven is credit card has information. Mm. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you. Ah, Marilyn is not sleeping. Marilyn, read number eight. No, <laughs> porque me dice que estaba dormida. Será porque la mencioné hace rato y no me contestó. Ay, lo siento, me había levantado y no andaba las audiciones, perdón. Ajá, ajá. No, estoy dormida, sure. estoy bien. Sure, sure. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo me voy a dormir con los lentes? Uh -huh. A ver, uh -huh. digan. Uh -huh. <ríe> Ay, no. <ríe> ajá. What's number eight? <ríe> Espérame, quiero ver que ni miro bien ese chinche. Christmas, Christmas is getting Ay, Dios mío, yo veo que todos están ahí. <laughs> Come on, yo Marilyn. Sí. It's because Ay, you're asleep. No, mentira, no estoy dormida. Which one is the one that is missing then? Espérenme. Ay, sí, pero ni, miro, ni lo veo el otro, ¿dónde está? That confirms my theory. Sí. Ya me confundí. <risa> Ahí está. Sí, es que estoy así como que ¿dónde está? Y ahí lo estamos haciendo con Don Mario, yo no lo veo. <risa> My I'm gonna, goodness. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it. Look. Espérenme, ajá. Uh -huh. Y es que eso estoy viendo, que lo, 
lo estoy cortejando. Yo así como que, what happened? Ándale, y lo estoy viendo al principio. Eh, lo siento, I'm so sorry. This one, this one over here. Look, look. Uh, look. They confirm your information and submit. Ah, okay. Just, exactly. Yeah, uh -huh. That's going to be the one, okay? <laughs> Very good. That's going to be the last one. All right. Now, next, let's move out, people. I needed to cut up this thing now. Let's move. Let's move. Jorge, can you please read number one about the context in number three? It says, circle the correct answer. Could you please read? Leame toda la oración ya con la, la, la palabra correcta. Number one. Yeah. It's necessary to follow those still the the bullshit wax song mix. Primera o segunda? Those or that? Those. Those. Okay, very good. That's the correct one. Thank you, mister. Those. This is the correct one. Okay, porque dice steps. Por esto, acá. It's plural. Very good. Now let's move on to the next one. Mm -hmm. Judith, read number two. I think that I want to buy that big desk. I like it. Okay, very good. In this case, is that. Excellent. Now let's move it to the next one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me see who's going to be next one. Oscar. Read number three. Sí, permítame, teacher. Number three is, do you want to buy this refrigerator, it comes in your different colors. Okay, it comes in, in four different colors. Uh, the first one or second one? La primera or la segunda? Uh, second. Segunda. That's one. Ah, okay, very good. Yeah, I mean, that's the one in singular. Good. Okay, thank uh, you, mister. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Mario, read number four, Mario. I am going to buy these two tables. First one or second? First. Perfect. With this credit card. First one or second? Second. Perfect. Yeah, I mean, I want to, uh, I'm going to buy these two tables. You said tables. And I mean, it's tablets. All right, with this credit card. Okay, very good. This is the way. Si lo tienen de esta manera, so it means it is correct, okay? Good. Now, guys, I'm gonna uh, stop in this. And let's do the last exercise. Y ahora vamos por el último ejercicio de la noche. This one is just, you know, like examples about the uses of singular using this and that. And plural, this and those, we're gonna, not gonna stop that much in here. Lo que me interesa que hagamos es esta parte acá. Okay, that's one. This one is going to be the last part that we are going to be working on. Good. How are we gonna be working that though? We're gonna do it individually. Esta sí la vamos a hacer individual. Okay, así que read the man there. All right in select or choose the correct demonstrative pronoun. Así que seleccionen el pronombre demonstrativo que mejor complemente la oración. En ese caso, preguntas. Ok. Bueno, si la mayoría son preguntas casi. Ok, let's do it. Hagamos 
When you finish, please just let me know, ¿ok? Para los que tienen el manual impreso, pues les va a ser más sencillo. Los que tienen el manual digital, pues lo pueden estar haciendo en su PDF, ¿ok? And just let me know when you finish. Necesito saber cuando hayan terminado. Just let me know if you need help in one, okay? Or something. Remember, you can ask me. Are you guys about to finish? Por cual van? I need to see you all people. Hmm. I'm gonna check you out now. You have three minutes to finish, okay? Puede dar tres minutos para que terminen, aunque creo que ya están a punto de.
Teacher, una duda en el caso de I can see en los jeans. Eh, ¿Se toma como plural o singular? Porque solo creo que es un par de jeans. Uh, in this case, it's going to be plural. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, Gabriel, you finished already? Finish teacher. Okay, perfect. Tomen en cuenta en que la mayoría de oraciones o preguntas son tomados desde la desde su propia perspectiva. Ok. ¿A qué me refiero con eso? A que un objeto puede estar para Guadalupe puede estar cerca. Pero para Mario puede decir que está lejos. Ok. That depends on the perspective. Ok. Good. I guess you have already finished. Creo que sí ya terminaron la mayoría. Now I'm going to project. Let me see. Okay, the, the, the one thing here. Good. Let's just start over. Okay. Carla, can you please read number one? Okay, teacher. Do, do you want to buy that tablet? That tablet. That's what you got in here. Yes. That. That. ¿Alguien más tiene that o tiene algo diferente? Sí, teacher. That. Le puse a la primera. Okay. What about the other ones? ¿Y los demás? Everybody la segunda. Dos. Yo tengo this. This. Ah, ok. This. 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 Tablet. Tablet. <ríe> ok. Listen. Como les dije, va a depender this. de su perspectiva. It's perspective teacher. Hola. Es de, depende de la perspectiva. Correcto. Como les digo. Si ustedes perciben que la, que la table, digo tablet, yo se me pegó Mario. Uh, si la tablet está lejos, entonces será that. Pero si está cerca, sería this, ok. That's ok, no problem. So in that case it says, yes, I want to buy the black one, it says. Good. Now, Oscar, help me out with number two. Great teacher. I can see those jeans. Así la dejé. Can I, can I see those? Can I see those? Uh -huh. Those jeans. The jeans. He says, sure. What size? Those jeans. Okay. Ish, correct. Good. Good. En esta sí. En esta sí. Solo esta es la palabra que puede quedar 
eh, con esta pregunta, ¿ok? Can I see those jeans? All right. In this case, yeah, I mean, this is the one. Okay. Good. Thank you, mister. Okay. Let's move. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see who can. Guadalupe, ring number three. My friend and I are interested on this makeup. You got this. Sí, yes. Es que entré en dudas porque dice solo make up. Y abajo eh, veo que dice caja, pero si solo es una caja, no sé si. No, pero ahí dice the small box. The small box, ajá, es una caja pequeña, algo así. Exactly. Pero no, no sé si una caja de muchos maquillajes o no qué vea, pero yo dis le puse. No, pero es que en este caso, con solo decir makeup, makeup significa maquillaje, por lo tanto es algo singular, ok, sí. algo que pues no, no podemos contar en ese caso, that's ok y acá, si tienen that, está ok, si tienen this, también es, es, es ok, right, cualquiera de las dos es posible mientras no sea this and those es ok alright good, Jorge rule number four did you bring this budget? Okay, very good. Did you bring this or that package? Yes, I did, it says. Ah, si yo tengo cerca ese paquete, yo voy a decir, ah, did you bring this package? Trajiste este paquete? Si lo tengo lejos, o sea, did you bring that package? ¿Tú trajiste ese paquete? So you see, in that case, this or that. Cualquiera de los dos, si tienen eso, that's okay. Good. Next, Judith. You can't. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Add. Oh, add this for. Es ¿Cómo se pronuncia sweaters? Ah, for sweaters. Sweaters to the chart. Okay, you can't add. And you got? This. No. Like this? No. Like this? Yes. Ah, okay. You can't add these four sweaters to the chart. It says, okay, but. Can I take two? Así lo tienen, people. Number five. Okay. Lo podemos poner de esta manera. Remember. O si hay alguien que lo tiene como dos, that's still okay. Cualquiera de los dos. Right? These or those. Good. And now let's take a look at the last one, Mario. Help me out with the last one, Mario, please. Okay, me fui a la perspectiva, pero I have to go to buy those new books at the library. I had to go to buy those. That's what you got, right? Yes, those. Those. ¿Hay alguien que tenga algo diferente? Y yeah, ella suena un grillo al fondo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you for your participation, people. You're very active. No, man, that's okay. Thank you, Mario. Yeah. Mario, it's okay in this case. ¿Por qué? Porque en este caso, estamos hablando de comprar unos libros nuevos. ¿En donde En la librería. Significa que la persona no está en la librería todavía. No puede decir this, sino más bien those, esos. All right. 
Hmm. Yeah, it may it, it might be it might take sense, Ivania, if you got these once you are in the library already. All right. Una vez si ya estamos en la librería, si podemos decir, I mean, I really want to buy these books. Or these new books. Tenía duda, teacher, es que podía ser que le estuviera mostrando como de un catálogo. Esto, ah, bueno, si lo toma de esa perspectiva, ahí sí ya tiene no, lógica. Todo dependerá de perspectiva. There you go. Ahí no, sí ya no, tiene no, lógica. No, sí, ya le puedo hacer, perdón, yo le puedo hacer respuestas porque cuando le dé la oración dice que si tengo que ir a la librería a comprar esos libros y él le pregunta, ¿puedo ir contigo? Ajá, I'm going, Hasta I'm, Bahía. Going, I'm going with you. Pero lo que dice Ivania tiene, tiene un tanto de lógica. O si pasa alguien y dice, ah, mira estos libros. Ahí dice, tengo que ir a la librería por estos libros. Ah, so you see, it makes sense too. All right? It makes sense too in a, in a somehow. Okay, good. Pero igual, recuerden, va a depender de su perspectiva, pero también, o sea, uh, something with logic, okay? And remember, remember that. Antes de irnos, remember, that es para cosas en singular que están lejos. This Cosas en singular que están cerca. All right. These. Cosas en plural que tenemos cerca. Those. Cosas en plural que están lejos. All right. That's the difference between them. Es la forma en cómo nosotros podemos eh, diferenciarlos. Ok. Good people. So. I'm going to pass the attendance list. And that's going to be everything for tonight. Ok. Just give me one second. Gabriel Esaú. Present. Nice. Guadalupe Noemi. Present. Okay, cool. Iris Cecilia. Eh, she got disconnected. Jorge Ismael. Present. Okay, good. Jose Moises. He didn't show up. Judith Maribel. Present. Ok, perfect. Carla Ivania. Present teacher. All right. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Ok, Catherine Guadalupe. All right, she didn't connect to the class. Kevin Ramiro. I think he left. María Elena. She's not here. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Ah, ok, good. Mario Ernesto. Present. All right. Mónica Maricela. All right, she's not there. Oscar Armando. I'm here, teacher. Cool. Patricia Guadalupe, she got disconnected. Roberto Emilio, he got disconnected. Ruth Guadalupe. Present. Ok, perfect. Santos Cristina. Present teacher. Ok, Jocelyn Stephanie. All right, she got disconnected. Ok, cool people. Bien, ¿tenemos alguna pregunta con relación al tema que hemos estado discutiendo esta noche? Do you guys have any question? No? No, ok. Perfecto. Entonces esto sería todo por esta videoconferencia. Nos vemos mañana en la última de esta semana y la segunda de la semana 2, ¿ok? Thank you for getting connected, people. See you tomorrow. Have a wonderful night, ¿ok? Judith, stay with me. All right. Bye, bye, people. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs>
any doubt that you can have since class one until this class, okay? So, I don't know, Judith, if you have any question. No sé si tiene alguna pregunta. Básicamente, esto es para aclarar cualquier duda que tengamos desde clase 1 hasta esta. Si hay algo con la plataforma, something that you might not understand that good. This is the time for you to ask. Um, todo está claro. Sí, no tengo. <laughs> Are you no sure? No tengo algún problema. Uh -huh. uh, uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Bueno, sí, ya vi que con la plataforma vamos bastante bien. Ya tengo el 100% suyo en cuanto a las tareas. I mean, that's nice. Sí. That's Ahorita cool. hice la tarea 7. Ah, ok. Siete de la, del tema de ahora. Ah, eh, sí. No, 6, 6, sí. yes. Uh -huh. Ok, está, that's perfect. Uh -huh. está, lo hice todo bien a la primera, así que. Nice, ya ve. Ya vamos mejorando mucho más. Sí. And I'm really glad. I mean, if I am speaking, uh, I mean, in English. I'm pretty sure that you understand, maybe sometimes not the 100%, but I know that you are between 75, 80, 90%. When I'm speaking English, I'm pretty sure you understand very good. And that's nice. That's nice. Veo que sigo mejorando bastante y eso es bueno. Sé que cuando estoy hablando full English, usted me entiende arriba del 80%, así que... Vamos bien, Judith. Ok. Yeah. Vamos bastante sí. bien. Así que, pues, no se me vaya a desmotivar y siempre la quiero ver en el clases, ok. Yeah. Ok, cool. So Así que, all right, I mean, that's nice. Así que, todo ok. Everything ok. Yeah. No questions, not everything. All right, good. Entonces, si todo está ok, entonces la dejo descansar, Judith, y nos vemos mañana en la próxima videoconferencia, ok. Thank you. All right. Thank you to you. Good night. Good night. Okay. All right. So the topic from today, it was very interesting. We were discussing about the demonstrative pronouns. Remember that demonstrative pronouns are four. The ones that we got. This, that, this, and those. Remember. We can use these. I'm gonna show you here. Remember, we can use these for something that you got close from you. And then you got that. That is for something far from you. Take it in consideration that these ones are singular okay and the, the uses of this also you got singular with singular nouns okay then you got these it's for nouns singular nouns close and i mean plural Plural nouns close from us. And then you got those. Those is mostly used for plural nouns far from us. Okay. Entonces recuerden, estos son los demonstrative pronouns que hemos estado practicando. These, that, these, those. Right. This and that se utilizan para uh, referirnos a nombres en singular. This es más que todo para referirnos a este o esta o esto. That, eso, esa, eso. This, eh, por el contrario, aquí estamos hablando de un plural y es estos, estas. Those, esos o esas, right? Ya que es para nombres en plural que están lejos de nosotros o de nuestro alcance. All right. That was the topic that we were discussing tonight. And I hope you have enjoyed, right? And you have understood completely what we were practicing. So let's see you in another video conference.